So Twitter put the karate chop on uh, the ad campaigns for followers. And it's interesting because they didn't give any notice. I just, I just happened to notice that my impressions had gone down to zero over the last three or four days. And then I was looking around um, online trying to, or when I went back in, I was going to troubleshoot that. And when you're troubleshooting ad, ad campaigns, uh, what you want to do is just make changes. So I tried adding in different ad sets. I changed the audience. Um, and then I just, after a few hours, when that still wasn't getting impressions, I paused the campaign and then went to create a new campaign. So it had been, this one had been around running about 30 days was pretty successful. The cost per ad was ended up being really cheap. Um, so when I went to add the new campaign, there was no more, no more follower. There was only engagement. So I looked online for this and sure enough, they announced that uh, the product team came back to, uh, to, it wasn't driven by revenue was the point. So even though there was a hundred million dollars in ad spend on the uh, follow campaigns, the product team, and I know a thing or two about this on my corporate tech side, the product team needed to change to a uh, rollout that supported media, more of the media that all these platforms love now, which is videos, um, very attractive graphics, etc. So there goes uh, 11 cent ads to the account. Uh, it was confirmed by Axiom. You can message me, I'll send you the link. But uh, I put the, um, I did rerun just an engagement campaign. And right now, the uh, impressions are coming really, really cheap. I'm talking like a penny, a penny to two cents um, with high percentage on the impressions. So that's a factor of two things. And this is the point of this. Nomadic Chad here. This is revenue operations in 10 minutes. What happened today is called a slap. Um, it's uh, Well, maybe it's intentional or unintentional. But Facebook does it. Google was notorious for it. If you listen to Russell Brunson, they talk a lot about this. But I, when I, in fact, I'm reading Perry Marshall's first book, but when I, uh, or Perry Marshall's new book, but when I first read Perry Marshall's first book, I was all into Google ads. It was great. You could get uh, really high value clicks for less than a dollar for a couple bucks. And I was advertising um, email drip campaigns. But that quickly got expensive because they want the Disney's of the world. They want HBO Max. They want um, PG, you know, PE, P -E, whatever the appliance company is. They don't really care about your 300 bucks a month. Uh, you know, even if you're a baller and you're spending 10,000 um, to 100,000 a month, they don't just care about you. And that, in part of Perry Marshall's uh, book, by the way, he talks about the 80-20 principle and that's his thing. They, they want that 20% of the customers that bring them 80% of their revenue. So anyway, when slaps come about, what do you do? Do you quit? Do you cry? Do you put a short on YouTube, which I did? Do you put a weird tweet out, which I did? You know, but then you gotta lick your wounds. You gotta adapt. So two, I have two final thoughts from this. Uh, first, I did adapt. I'm running the, the um, engagement campaign and they actually made it easier to put organic tweets into the campaign. So... That's interesting. I like the improvement. That's good. But uh, I don't think it's worth it. And I've never thought it's worth it. In fact, Perry Marshall would probably come into my my Austin very dry backyard right now and smack me in the back of the head. Because you should never really advertise for just followers. Like, that's my ego. That's ego. Uh, you should always be pointing them to some sort of landing page that can convert something that can actually turn your dollar bill, the nickel box, turn your nickel into six cents or turn your nickel into 10 cents. So that is my, that's closing thought number two is I think I need to let go of this engagement campaign. Like who cares if you get a bunch of likes on a tweet or some retweets or, uh, or, you know, the occasional follow. So it's been running for a few hours and tomorrow I'm gonna look, if I go through the full ad spend for the day and it's not it's not adding um, more follows, then it's the juice really isn't worth the squeeze. Now, that being said, the traffic's cheap and it's cheap because a lot of the 
low low level guys that just knew how to do this these uh follow campaigns they're booted right now or even better i'm hoping they are not booted because twitter or x didn't give us any notice but they're not getting impressions and they don't know it it's just their shit's not running so i'm in there running right now overnight and uh and impressions are cheap 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 so we'll see how that goes if that I, I might let it run while it's cheap um but then after that i need to i've been trying to get nomadic chad on a landing page and uh perry marshall has a beautiful affiliate program i think i'm just going to start running uh, a landing page with a with an email capture and then point to like perry marshall's marketing dna or um or any any number of Perry Marshall's front ends, but that I think that's a solid play. Then you're spending dollars and actually driving traffic somewhere. Also, Read Amigo Beta is pretty much up, so I need to be I need to convert some of those dollars back to driving traffic to the app. So that's it. Uh, the moral here, well, the the update is that Twitter put the slap down, and uh, a lot of I think when people find out, a lot of people are going to be they're going to cry a little bit tonight in their sleep. Unless you adapted and you went back in and you launched a new campaign at campaign and also that's my final takeaway Again from Perry Marshall on this one from his first book Ultimate Guide to Google AdWords and then when I reread Ultimate Guide to Facebook AdWords and now reading his 80-20 principle Also when you listen to Russell Brunson, Mike Dillard, anyone else that has experience with paid media, um, Dean Graziosi uh, You have to tweak these things, but in principle, they're all the same So I knew right away. Well, let's go launch a new campaign. Well, what are the options? I clicked through some things. Some things were dead ends and, uh, and then I found one in the advanced section also, by the way, advanced section in the engagement. It was pretty easy to set up and I loaded in eight tweets there, more recent tweets. So I, up to, I refreshed my audience. So now I've got a new audience, new people seeing it. And uh, oh, and they got a little follow me section too, where they'll chase around people who've seen your organic tweets with your promoted tweets. So I'm pretty stoked to let it run. Um, but again, that closing thought is you should be spending dollars on traffic that can convert. And uh, I need to be taking my own medicine. And I, I need to be throwing that, uh, that front-end investment into some sort of front-end offer with the goal of breaking even so you can have infinite ad run. That's it. Nomadic Chad, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.